Um, this is a new updated version of our compensation plan. We had some changes that were announced um, in the August corporate webinar, and I think you will find that there's some really exciting incentives to get people on your team to hit Gold Elite. So please disregard any other version that you saw before. Um, I believe it was August 25th or 26th, maybe. So here we go. Some information that you do need to know before we start is to be considered a qualified mentor, you have to generate at least 50 personal retail points in the current month. And so this is what qualifies you to get paid each month. And then to be considered an active mentor, you have to have at least 50 personal retail points in any of the last three consecutive months. This keeps you active in the business. So qualified is somebody who is wanting to be paid every single month. Active is probably somebody who's either um, just doing it to buy product for themselves or maybe they are taking a break. So in order to just say I am with my L still, you would have to be active with 50 points in a three month time period. And then keep in mind personal retail points equal one point for every US dollar. So for those of you who are in the UK, um, it's still, we go off of the US dollars, not the, um, yeah, the pounds, sorry. So here we have Jamie. Jamie is an active mentor. She sold $100 worth of product in October, so she had 100 personal retail points. So she's now an active mentor through the month of December. She's going to get 25% royalties on her $100 worth of retail sales, so she's going to be considered bronze. But now Jamie decides that she wants to start building a team, so she calls up Lisa. As long as Lisa is a qualified mentor each month, so as long as Lisa is selling 50 personal retail points each month, Jamie can now move up to either Bronze Elite or she can become a Silver, depending on what the personal retail points in her team volume is. To hit Bronze Elite, she needs 100 personal retail points and 150 team points. Or to hit Silver, she needs 150 personal retail points and 500 team points. If Jamie is Bronze Elite and has 100 personal retail points and 150 team points, she's going to get 25% royalties on anything that she sells, and she's going to get 1% on her first level, which is Lisa. If she hits Silver, then she has the 150 personal retail points and 500 team points, then she's going to bump up to 30% royalties on her own sales and 1% off of Lisa, her first level. Something that you do need to understand is when you're looking at the team royalties that Jamie gets paid for having Lisa as a first level mentor, that 1% is after Lisa's royalties have been paid. So for instance, if Lisa were bronze one month and had $400 or 400 personal retail points in a month, Lisa's commission would be 25% of the $400, which is $100. So when you go to figure Jamie's royalties, she's not getting paid off of the 400 personal retail points that Lisa had. She gets what's left over. So Jamie's getting paid on $300, which is $3. So I'm gonna let that sink in for just a second because that's a little bit confusing. Okay, so Jamie now gets to promote. So Jamie adds on Kez. She's eligible to promote to Silver Elite. And then once she adds Anne, she gets to promote to Gold. To achieve Silver Elite, she's going to have to have 250 personal retail points and 2,000 team points. Or to hit um, Gold, she's going to need 350 personal retail points and 4,000 team points. She's still going to continue to earn 30% on anything that she sells, her personal retail points, and 1% on her first level royalties, which is Lisa, Kez, and Anne. Also, as a special bonus, this is something new, once Jamie hits gold status for the very first time, she's going to get a one-time, um, I'm not sure how you say that, 75 euros or $100 product credit so that she can start building her kit. Um, this is a great way for the company to help us build our kit without having to pay for things out of our pocket. And that was not on the comp plan originally, so this is a really nice added benefit. Now, Jamie's going to continue to grow her team, so she's going to add on Charlie. Now that she has four first-line team members, she can become Gold Elite. Because she's Gold Elite, she is now going to still get 30% on her personal sales. She's still going to get 1% on her first level, and she's going to get 3% on her branch. 
Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Um, her first level are these four individuals, anybody that she has personally sponsored. Her branch is anybody on her team who has not hit gold elite. So in this example, that would still be these four individuals along with Jamie. So she's getting to double dip. If she had a first generation, she would get 4%. And we'll see that in our next example. Also, here's another incentive for, from corporate. She's going to get an exclusive Gold Elite Business Beauty accessory once she reaches a status. They have not announced what that is yet, but I'm sure it is going to be fabulous, whatever it is. All right, Anne is now going to begin growing her team. So when Anne grows her team, Anne is going to graduate. So because she's been working hard and she has hit Gold Elite, her team is going to break off and become Jamie's first generation, which means that Jamie now gets to hit Diamond. And so this is where Jamie is going to start getting paid a branch royalty. So a branch is everyone on her team who has not hit Gold Elite. So right now, that would include Lisa, Kez, Charlie, and herself. She also has a team volume, um, which is every single person on her team. So all of the ladies on the screen, that's her team volume. This would be her branch volume. Now that Jane is promoted to Diamond, she's going to still get 30% royalties on her personal sales. She's going to get 1% on her first level. So. Anne, even though Anne has graduated, because she personally recruited Anne, these are all still her first level, Lisa, Kez, Charlie, and Anne. She's going to get 3% on her branch, which is hers, Lisa's, Kez, and Charlie. She's going to get 4% on her first generation. So whatever this is right here as a combined team, she gets 4% of those sales. And this is one more incentive from corporate. She's also going to qualify for an awesome leadership retreat with corporate executives. Um, they have not announced the, the details about that at this moment, but I'm sure in the future we will know exactly what that entails. I've heard rumors that maybe this will be a once a year thing. Um, I've also heard rumors that it might possibly be completely paid for all inclusive. Now don't take my word for that because that may change. All right, when Anne has someone on her team hit Gold Elite, they're then going to break off and become Anne's first generation. They will become Jamie's second generation. So Jamie's then going to, to earn 4% from her first generation, which would be these four ladies, and 5% off of her second generation, which would be these five ladies. There are some special circumstances that you need to know about. So we're going to pretend like Anne did not hit Gold Elite status yet because she only has three first line mentors and you have to have four. However, Amy, who is on Anne's team, did hit Gold Elite. So Amy and her team are now going to become Jamie's first generation, even though Anne is the one who sponsored Amy. Um, let me go backwards. If at any point, if Anne does go ahead and add another mentor, then Anne would then break off and become Jamie's first generation, and Amy would become her second generation. And then Jamie can keep advancing from there. So when she hits Diamond Elite with six first line mentors and two first generations, um, she's going to get 6% for her Generation 3 royalties. At Platinum, you have seven first-line mentors with three first generations. That's going to add on 1% for any Generation 4 royalties. And then this is absolutely amazing. When you hit Platinum Elite with eight first-line mentors and four first generations, you're going to get an extra 1% for any Generation 5 royalties. I don't know any other company that even goes to a Generation 5. So this is massive. This is major incentive for you to reach as high as you can and hit Platinum Elite. Some things that you do need to note. You always get paid the 1% first level royalties on personally sponsored mentors, no matter where they are in your branch or if they've turned into a generation. That's always 1%.
your team volume is always going to include every single person on your team, no matter whether they are on your first generation or your thousandth generation. That counts towards your team volume. Your branch is always going to include, include those people on your team who have not yet hit gold elite and become a generation. And then you will always keep your earned rank title. This is another amazing thing about MyL. So if you hit gold elite, um, you will always be considered a gold elite. However, when you get paid, you'll be paid according to your points and teams for, team points for the month. So for example, if you've achieved diamond status, but you didn't get the 16,000 team points you needed for the month, maybe your team volume was only 12,000 points, you will still be referred to as diamond. However, you will be paid as a gold elite for that month. And then the next month, if you get right back to the 16,000, you'll be paid as a diamond. So that's really cool. We also have a personal sales bonus. So if your monthly personal retail points is 1,000 to 1,499, you get a bonus of 5%. If it's 1,500 to 2,499, you get a 7% bonus. And then if your monthly sales are 2,500, you're gonna get a bonus of 10%. That's an automatic at least $250. I'm not sure how much that is um, for you ladies in the UK. So here are some examples, and I tried to color code this to make this as easy as possible, but it's really, it's really hard to convey um, over a PowerPoint where you can't interact with people, so hopefully this makes sense. So we've got Jamie right here. Um, Jamie is a Silver Elite. For the month of January, she had 500 personal retail points. So because she's a Silver Elite, she's going to get 30% of that. So 30% of 500 is $150. The purple mentors underneath that are all her first level mentors and combined they have a total of 1,570 personal retail points. For purposes of this, we're going to say they had 1,570 personal retail points after their commissions had already been paid. So she's going to get 1% of that. 1% 1 of 1,570 points is 15.70. So she's going to earn 165.70 for the month of January. 150 plus 1570 is 165.70. And I'm sorry, ladies in the UK, I didn't go ahead and um, convert this because I, I think that it's always changing for you guys. I'm not really sure how the currency rate works, and so it was just easier to do it in US dollars. All right, this next example. Jamie's now a diamond. For the month of June, she has 1,500 in personal retail points. Because she's a diamond, she's going to get 30% of her personal points. So 30% of 1500 is $450. She has six first level mentors. So everyone who has purple on them are her first level. They have a combined total of 6,500 personal retail points. So she's going to get 1% of that. So 1% of 6,500 is $65. Then Jamie's going to get paid on her branch, which includes everyone who hasn't hit gold elite. So anyone who has the little um, squiggly chevron lines on them. So that's this one and then these four. We're going to pretend like they all have a combined total of 10000 So she's going to get 3% of her branch royalties, which is $300. And then she has two first generations because they have hit gold elite. So we're going to say that anybody that has green on them, so these two smileys up here, and then these eight individuals underneath. So her first generations have a combined total of 16000 She's going to earn 4% of her Generation 1 royalties after those royalties have been paid. So we're going to pretend like that is 640 or yeah, sorry, 4% of 8000 is 640 So when you add that all up, 450 plus 65 plus 300 plus 640, Plus, she's going to get that personal sales bonus for hitting $1,500. So for the month of June, she would make $1,560. And this isn't really that big of a team. Um, obviously, some of these numbers are high, but if you look at it for first generations, in order for these people to hit gold elite, they have to have a, like this person and this person, their team volume alone would have to be $8,000. So if they have hit gold elite, and they've got the $8,000, then between this team and this team, that is the $16,000 right there. So this is completely doable. 
And I've been asked if I would do an example further than that, and honestly, it was just too confusing for me to figure out how to color code everything and show the difference between them. So I did not go higher. Um, I may try and do that later, but as for right now, that is my only two examples. I will say, after you get to um, Diamond, you really want to live in that second and third generation. Those of you who are wanting to do my L full time, that second, third, fourth generation, that is where you are going to have the opportunity to not have to go to work every single day and be able to just do my L as your job, as your full time job.